Welcome back guys, in this video I'm going to show you a bonus tip in our Revit Basic Walls video series. This bonus tip is a brand new feature in Revit 2022. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more regularly released Revit content. Enjoy the video. So I'm going to go to the walls again. I'm going to select the garden wall. I'm going to edit type. I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to call this a solid concrete wall and then I'm going to edit the structure I'm going to call this concrete cast in place and let's call this 500 thick let's go back into our structure let's remove the sweep so delete hit ok and then ok and then we can draw this wall in place now the new feature is that you can taper this wall depending on the settings that you have so if you select the wall you can go to the properties panel and scroll down to the cross section definition at the minute it's not fully set up so the only thing you can do is slant it at the minute and you can select a angle that you want to slant it so you can do five degrees for example and hit apply that wall automatically slants now a good thing about that is it's also reflected in the plan view so if you go back to the plan you can see that slant in plan depending on where this cut plane is so you can see the surface pattern and you can see the cut pattern if we go back to 3d the next one on that cross section definition is the tapered wall now this wall isn't set up for that yet so if we select tapered it's going to come up with this error so what you have to do is go into the edit type and then edit the structure and then you have to tick this variable box here and that would enable you to do a tapered wall. So select OK. And now you can go into the tapered wall and then hit apply. And then you can either select one of the nodes and pull it out to where you want it to be and create a override instance. And you can do it on both sides. Or if we undo this, we can go to enable angle overrides and then we can manually type in so we can do five degrees on the exterior angle and five degrees on the interior angle and then hit apply again this is also reflected on the plan so if we go to the plan we can see the correct cut for that wall and we can see the surface being shown where it's sloped What's great about these walls is they also host objects. So if I select one of these doors from earlier, I select create similar, I can still place my doors into this wall and it still cuts correctly. If I go to 3D, you can see the door family has cut correctly all the way through that wall. When you get into the true architectural documentation, then you would have to bespoke design doors that fit this wall and probably reposition where this door sits probably to the center of the wall like so and that's the bonus revit tip for revit 2022 and that's the end of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one